No, it's just, can you, what are your emotions right now coming off of a disappointing end to what was a terrific season? Um, I just wish it didn't end like that. Um, he just played better than us. Um, we beat ourselves a lot of times. Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, we had a great season, um, like he said, Cat said. But yeah, I just wish we didn't go out like that. Does I think a lot of people say you, when you're young and you're experienced for the first time, you got to take your lumps to learn. Does, does it feel like that was what was happening maybe mm -hmm. tonight with Luca and Kyrie more experienced and been there before? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, uh, this is my first time. I, a lot of a lot of guys' first time even being in the playoffs, but let alone the Western Conference Finals. So uh, definitely got to take your lumps and you know uh, and grow through those situations. I think you know hopefully in the next few years or so. We'll be in the same situation when we're, you know, giving uh, whatever young guys the whipping on the other end. So uh, just uh, just stay, stick with it, keep going. It's just not the last time we'll be in a situation, hopefully, and um, just to keep growing. What did you learn most from this longer run that you think will help going into the summer, going into next season? What stood out about the difference of playing at this level mm -hmm. versus what you had before? Um, I think. How in shape you are! I know, I know a lot of guys were tired today, and you, you know, obviously, our play uh, said that as well. I mean, this it's a long season. Once you get to this point, I think we play over 100 games at this point. So, being in shape, uh, you know, having that, that the mental to where you know you can get through anything, anything is possible. I think um, I think everybody pretty much had that mindset. It was just we didn't really break through that barrier. We were all you know uh, active and you know ready to go as far as like shape wise, I guess. You know, like I said, everybody was pretty much tired. You could see it, I and mean, uh, that it showed. Nas, reflecting on this season, what is what is something that surprised you about it that maybe you guys were excelled in more than than you expected? And then also, what is something that it felt like you needed more of uh, mm -hmm. to to be able to win this series and keep going? Um, I think. How well everybody gelled together. I mean, obviously on every team, especially it being our second year, but I feel like everybody on this team like they knew each other for at least ten years, at least. Um, we kind of grew into a brotherhood at some at some points, and sometimes you'd you'd feel that connection. Um, I think. I mean, not that you don't see that coming, but you know, business of basketball, you know, anything can happen. So it's just like. Uh, and I know for me, uh, growing up, and you know, I used to be like to myself and stuff like that. To where now, like I kind of like. I embraced those guys as like my older brothers and stuff like that. So and then Tori Jaden's like my younger brother and so forth and so on. So it's like just having those relationships and um, being able to communicate with guys on and off the court. And then um, uh, what was your second question? What is something that you guys needed more of mm -hmm. uh, to be able to uh, win this series, keep going? I think uh, more brains. I think uh, situations where um, – or experience, I would say. Uh, just – Understanding time and situation, um, understanding what what was at stake, uh, what you know, um, what to bring in those moments. Nas, what's something that you're gonna try to work on this off season to kind of come back and get better going into that next season? Um, really, my all around game. I'm trying to expand each and every way, like I've done in the past. Uh, just. I mean, and from every standpoint, shooting, dribbling, defense, definitely defense, um, being able to guard one through five consistently uh, and being comfortable with it. Um, really just being a consistent uh, basketball player for sure. I mean, um, yeah, like, I, I mean, I'm pretty much just going to work on every every game, every facet of the game like I've, I've done thus far. So I think each and every year I've gotten better. Any other questions for Nas? Yeah, I'll get one. And, or Nas, th this year, with this team was positionally a puzzle, right? Particularly in the, the front court. Like, sometimes you're playing the five, sometimes you're playing the three. There's, what, what was, like, reflecting on that, kind of how you guys made all the bigs work together? How, how, how did that come together over the course of the season? Um, I think just playing off of each other was the biggest thing. Like, understanding situations and being in positions. Like, I know for me, like, I've been in these situations before, I mean, not in the NBA, but in situations before where I had to play the three or four. So I kind of knew how to play off Rudy and Cat in ways. Um, 
I'm sure they've, you know, they're in the same predicament. So it's really just me uh, and understanding, you know, time situation, who I'm guarding, um, what play we were running, uh, where to be, um, who I was, like I said, who I was guarding, things like that. Now, as with you and Ant and Cat and Mike, you have so much offensive firepower at your disposal. What did Dallas do to you guys that made it so difficult to kind of get the shots that you wanted and, mm-hmm. and be more efficient on that end? They made us tired. They made us work. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. Like, they were ready. Um, I don't think we made their, their all-star caliber players work. I think that was huge uh, on our end. We should have done that uh, as players. Um, yeah, I think they made us work, one through 15 or yeah. whoever played. And then when you just look back on this year with six man of the year, beach towels, tattoos, like mm-hmm. everything that happened for you, is this going to be a year that just sticks in your memory yeah, of 100%. all of those experiences and the love you felt and everything? Yeah, 100%. I mean, that's, that's something that you dream about, uh, especially like just for one, just to be in the NBA and then to have that type of love, especially from the team that you were brought in by. I mean, it's, 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 it's super huge, super huge. And I'm excited to go into next year, uh, you know, just just to just to show everybody how hard I worked and how how hard uh, I'm trying to you know bring something special to Minnesota again. Um, I mean it, was, it means the world you know just for all the guys people who got tattoos and like you said the beach towels and then you know how hard I worked to get six men and it, that goes to all the fans. I mean they they brought it and um, it was huge. Definitely needed that and um, it's a co- big confidence boost as well. Just to, you know, especially when I check in the game, everybody's going crazy. So that's 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 super, super, super.